Hello and welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for us today. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia and I'm here to do your daily pick a card. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle our thought of the day from the healing, the mind and spirit cards. And I want you to know, if you've never done a daily pick a card, it's easy to do. You can just follow along with the video. It can be very passive, although it is a good idea to pick a card. And so we do have these card toppers here, which I will show up close before we do the actual reading. I want you guys to know how much I really, really appreciate you. Each and every one of you, I have new subscribers I have returning people that come back. I have people who come back daily. It's just all very wonderful. And I find it to be very supportive in my daily practice. So I thank you guys. Oops, that shuffle didn't go, did it? Let's do one more shuffle and then we'll pull our thought of the day. And cut the deck and then I will pull from the bottom and it's green what does it say it says I believe that happiness and joy are inner states of being yes truth you won't miraculously become happy if something else changes or if the outside world changes but only if you change. Well, I think, <clears throat> I think miracles of happiness happen. <laughs> so I'm going to disagree with the back of this card. Um, and I do feel like sometimes happiness, someone else's change does bring happiness, especially if there's someone that you love and care about and their change is for the better for themselves. I think what they're talking about is if you want someone to change and then they suddenly start acting like you want them to, it won't make you happy. But anyway, I like the front. Let's, let's read that again. I believe that happiness and joy are inner states of being. That is something I truly believe in. I think there's like a, a basic undertone. I've always or most of my life had um, trouble with depression. In fact, I've been diagnosed with severe chronic depression. It's not something that shows very much. Um, but I feel like I've, I feel like, I feel like doing this has really taken me over a hump. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and move on. I think that's a lovely thought of the day. So I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Oh my goodness, it's extra good today. I know I say that every day, but I don't know. There's something about that first sip of coffee in the morning or tea or whatever it is. You know, um, the thing is, is when I first get up, I do have a great big glass of water, which is also very tasty. One of my favorite things. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and look at these card toppers. So... Um, this one I call my howl light. It's, well, it's a howl light, and I call it my howl light of many faces. You can see a sad face there. Um, let's see what other kind of face we can see. Look at that funny little happy face. Isn't that cute? There's, a, well, anyway, there's tons of faces. I could show you even more, because there, look, there's one right there. Um, but let's go ahead. <laughs> That's your first rock, okay? Your second rock is a tiger eye. And this tiger eye is perfect palm-sized rock with a nice little worry spot right there. N next is not a rock I put in my pocket. It is, um, these edges are real fragile. They flake off, so I try to be really gentle. And unfortunately, it's I don't think it's going to happen under this light. But under some lights, it really sparkles. There are sand particles all through it. Okay, and then our chalcopyrite. I do get excited about my rocks. 
Um, if you want a good Christmas movie, one of my favorite Christmas movies is What's Up, Dog? It's not really a Christmas movie, but I think about, um, when I think about What's Up, Dog, I think about my love of rocks. It's an old movie with Barbra Streisand and Ryan O'Neill. <laughs> a comedy. Okay, so now's the time to go ahead and pick your card topper. Pick your card. If it's something, uh, you pick, some people, I'm stumbling. <laughs> some people pick more than one card, and that is absolutely fine. Um, some people pick all the cards. I just don't integrate the cards into a reading like I do um, in private readings. So, um, so if you need more time to choose your rock, please feel free to pause the video at this time. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the card that is under the Howl Light. Ten of Rods. And I have something special to say about this card today, something in particular, and that is if you've been seeing this card a lot, it just means you need to see it. It's a card of hope. It's actually expressing what's going on as in feeling overwhelmed, overextended, overexerted, out of, um, out of uh, not feeling like you're able to get things together. However, this card appears right before you do get things together. It's, uh, he's wearing red. He's doing his work. He's working hard. Or they are working hard. It can be male or female. It's you. This is, this is about you today. This isn't about someone else or someone you know. This is you. You've been working really hard. You've been feeling overwhelmed, maybe tired. But the card is here to let you know that that is coming to an end because you are kicking butt. <laughs> you are doing it. And... Not only are you doing it, but you're destined to succeed. You're determined to succeed. You will have success in this endeavor. So this is kind of an encouragement card to keep going. If you've been seeing it a lot, it's just, it's just more encouragement. Keep going. You're going to get there. Almost like a promise. All right, let's see what's under the tiger eye palm rock. And this is an interesting card. It is the Wheel of Fortune. So I often call this a luck card, but what it is actually is it's a change card. So things are changing in your world in a big time. And when I mean world, what I mean is universe, okay? If you look at the uh, pictures on this card, it, it contains an aspect of each and every card in the deck. It has everything there, so be prepared. Well, you sometimes you can't prepare for this kind of change. It's a big change. Sometimes it happens suddenly. Sometimes you can prepare for this change. At any rate, many of us do not like change, even when it's for the better, right? <laughs> Some of us have trouble with that. Um, I also think of this as a karma card. Or, you know what? Let's put it this way. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's the first law of physics. I'm not sure. Um, but it is the, the, the cause and effect. The one that goes, let me look at my notes so I don't get it wrong. With each action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. So that's what I mean by karma. What have you put out there? You're going to reap what you sow. That's what, that's what I mean by karma. So it may, this big change may not be a surprise to you or might shouldn't be a surprise to you because it is all about what you've been putting out there when it comes to karma. Um, good fortune, luck, fate even, consequence, and karma. Those are the words I like to put with that card. So if you want to buy a lotto ticket, buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> that is your wheel of fortune very exciting card to have very exciting life-changing card 
All right, let's see what's under the selenite. It's a rose selenite. The Page of Pentacles. What a lovely youth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This card represents you today. And one of the things it's telling you to do, is telling, telling about you, is that you are a treasure to yourself. Do you not feel that way? That's okay. Um, if you have the, if you pick this card today, I really want you to take a good look at yourself and the things that you consider your talents, things that you're good at, things that you enjoy, things that you can share with others. And then I want you to take at least one of those talents and figure out how to put it out into the world today. Especially those recently discovered talents. You know, this card, this youth is also very passionate. And I often think of, oh, and, and can be very enthusiastic. Um, so there is a, because this card was drawn upside down, there is a little bit of a warning. So this is where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go into the warning, okay? So I want to be delicate about it because this is a youthful card and it is about talents and it is about sharing new talents, which can be a difficult thing to do. It can be um, embarrassing or, or just are just difficult. Um, let me just put it this way. I'm, I'm not going to, we're not going to, the, okay, just over enthusiastic is one of the warnings, but you know what? I don't like that warning. You know why? Because I am often very enthusiastic and I like enthusiasm. So we're going to drop that, but we are going to, we are going to say, find something, plant something, love someone, build something. Visualize your talents, especially those recently discovered talents. And we'll just leave it at that. That's that's a nice, nice thing. And you can be as enthusiastic as you want. I'm, I'm not going to put that warning in there. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what we have under the copper ore or chalcopyrite. And you have the Six of Rods. And I'm going to say it again. If you have seen this card recently and you keep seeing this card, you need to pay attention to this card. Um, this is a card that's telling you to take up, take on a leadership role as possible. You are triumphant, okay? You may already be in a leadership role without the title, but you may have the title. In fact, this card sometimes says that you will get that promotion or that title or the recognition that you deserve. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to get involved in a project that is hopefully greater than yourself. You'll be triumphant. You are triumphant in such endeavors. I also want to mention with this card one more thing. It's something I don't always mention because I'm not compelled to. Um, today I'm compelled to tell you to think about visions that you might have had or are having. These could be dreams. These could be daydreams. These could be actual, actual visions where you're, maybe you have your eyes closed and you and you feel like something's going to happen or you see something in your mind's eye. It might even be, like I said, like a daydream. Um, I mentioned this. Well, it's, it's, in, it's in the interpretation of the cards and tarot books and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I felt like I needed to mention that today. All right. Here we are. We're at the end. Guys, I really appreciate you so much. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you got what you needed out of this. I hope you got some entertainment, maybe some, maybe some validation about something. Either way, I hope, I hope you were able to get something good. 
Do take what resonates with you, but leave the rest and don't make life altering decisions or changes based on this or any other tarot pick a card. But do connect with me on my social medias link below. Book with me on my website. Some of you have just contacted me on Facebook. That's fine. Um, you can get my phone number from probably from Facebook. I think it's I think it's I have it public. Um, and you can just call me to book if that's what you'd rather do. That's fine. You can also kick on that click on that keen. Um, what do you call it? One thing you call it that keen link down below in my description. And last but not least, do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Subscribe to this video. Thank you so much to those who have. And you guys, see you next time. Love you.